It is official. The stars have aligned at the Buell Planetarium. The Carnegie Science Center completed the big renovation on the top floor. This multi-million dollar project involved a major technological upgrade, making the planetarium more immersive and realistic than it has ever been before. This technology enables us to provide magnificent educational programs to wide-eyed school children, amaze adults with astronomic details, and reestablish Pittsburgh as a destination for public space exploration. Also today, the Science Center unveiled a new feature in its miniature railroad and village. The new model honors the 100th anniversary of the 19th Amendment and Pittsburgher Daisy Lampkin with an image of her and her home in the Hill District. Lampkin was one of America's leading suffragettes and a fighter for civil rights. This morning, her grandson recalled growing up listening to his grandmother on the phone, not even realizing he was in the presence of a civil rights icon. I heard her talking to people and she would say, dear Thurgood, oh my dear Lee, um, uh, Walter honey, uh, Roy my dear. And it was only as an adult that I realized that she was talking to Thurgood Marshall, K. Leroy Irvis, uh, Walter White, Roy Wilkins. Now the Carnegie Science Center is currently open, but with limited occupancy. The renovated planetarium, that's going to reopen this Saturday.